Ah, oh, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Loving Love Mallorca. So today I'm just near the old town of Poyensa with Snowy. There she is, and today we're going to go for a little walk. We're going to have a look at the Push de Maria up the mountain. So it's going to be a good day up the top of the mountain, as it were. There's a little surprise. So keep on viewing to the end and you'll see what it is. Come for the walk. Well, that's the signpost you're looking for. It is along the main road between the port of Poyensa that goes along past the old town of Poyensa, eventually heading up on the motorway that takes you to Palma. So this is the entrance to the mountain. Got a little signpost there to let you know. There's a few car park spaces there. But I've parked over in the main car park, just in the, um, in the old town. So this walk was suggested to me during the week by one of my members. Thank you for that. It's really appreciated when people um, recommend something for me to do. Unless it's not over hot today. It's about 14 degrees and a little bit cloudy. Although it's just perfect to bring young Snowy out for a little walk. There she's, she just loves her walking. As long as it's not too over hot, I can take her for miles really. They say this walk's going to take about between 15 minutes and an hour to do it. I just love going up here and looking at these buildings and the walls. They're all obviously, everything's been put in by hand as you can see. This is a perfect view of Prianza, isn't it? Some cyclists and runners. I've already overtaken me, so it's a, it looks a perfect, a perfect place to do all kinds of sports down here. I don't know if I'd fancy coming down here fast on a bicycle. Look at these potholes here. God, you'd you'd come off hard there, wouldn't you? And hurt. Old Snow, she's like a pocket rocket, if you know what I mean. It's sort of like she's quite happy to sit in and sleep. And then again, when she comes out, she doesn't want to stop and look. She starts crying. She just wants to get out there as fast as and possible. And get to where we're going. But I like to stand there and have a look at the view sometimes. Take a few photos or a short bit to enhance the film. But no, when we're out with Snowy, <laughs> it's Snowy's rules. There's lots of trees that cover up here, so even if it was quite warm, you'd be well in the shade coming up. Well, just in case you need a rest up here, there's a little park bench for you to sit on. Now that's quite thoughtful, isn't it? <laughs> so it's just on 12 o'clock. When we reach the top, I'll make myself a cup of cheese and onion sandwiches and I've got two cans of Diet Coke. For Snowy I've got a bowl of water and a couple of pieces of ham and a little bit of cheese just in case she needs a bit of a pick up when we get up there. So there's our lunch sorted out isn't it? So I've just sat down for a, a little drink so I could give Snowy some water. And hear this hear her crying she now wants to go on we've only sat down for about two minutes and she's and she's really crying that she wants to get on isn't it incredible like 10 years old as well <laughs> okay snow are you win let's go <laughs> the fuse is just lovely when you come up the mountain or whatever i know it's hidden a lot by the trees but it is a lovely view and now the ground's changed now from like a road to like a stony path, steps, that sort of thing. Well, as you can see here, the, the ground is now very, very rocky. And obviously, because I've got tunnel vision, I'm having to watch the ground after I go over, straight over. So I keep on banging my head on the trees, but trees can't really hurt me, can they? The ground can. 
So at the top it's just coming into sight now. There's a little coffin at the top. We can have a little look as well as all the views everywhere. And then we can stop there and have our drink and our cup of sandwiches. And that's the entrance. I do find people here ever so friendly. Everybody says good morning to you. God, this is lovely, isn't it? Look at this view. Whoops. Well, I've just found this quite a little spot, a little sort of makeshift table for a better word. And uh, Snow's quite happy to come off the lead now. It's nowhere for her to really go. I'll give her some water. I'm going to have um, a drink. Um, cheers to your health, everyone. Hope you're all right. And um, we'll be getting on in a few minutes. So after we've had a little spot of lunch, I'm going to investigate up here a little bit, a little bit more, see what it's like. Seems to be an awful lot of areas to look. So that's the main church itself. We can have a look down just through this door here. Well, snow is leading the way, as you'd imagine. There she is. And that's why I was having my dinner a little bit just around the corner there. Got a few more tables and chairs here for your picnics. So this is the top of the um, mountain of <coughs> Bush de um, Maria. Hope you enjoyed the film so far. So we've had a little trip round the monastery which I quite enjoyed. Now it's time to go down the mountain, make our way back to, towards the car again. Oh, that was a walk that was up and down. I hope you enjoyed today's film, I certainly did. If you did, I'd love you to give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget my Facebook page, Love in Love Mallorca. And any comments at all, please put them down below. If you've got any suggestions where you'd like me to go, put them down below. I love your comments, I read them all. You take care, I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye for now. Hi, uh, I've asked to do a few shout outs. Got one for Ellen and Ethan, hoping to return to Akudi as soon as possible. Jack's in the UK. Now she lives in Dover like I did and she does lots of YouTube videos of um, Dover and the history and things. She's well worth 
looking at Jackson, um, Jackson UK rather, Gordon Ratchell and their twins, and then Gordon ja um, Jenkinson. So that's all my shout outs. If you'd like one, please put it down below and I'll do one for you.